Well, the Ministry of National Security and the Neighborhood Watch Committee teaming up to impact the community in a quite significant way, actually. Lloyd Allen is live this morning with team members. Good morning, Lloyd. Well, good morning again, Desmond, and good morning, Bahamas. We know, of course, over the last several months, many persons in the country have been severely impacted by this COVID-19 pandemic. But helping to ease that burden is the uh, Ministry of National Security through one of its newest initiatives uh, that's uh, teamed up with the National Neighborhood Watch Council. Helping us to understand what that is is Shelley Lewis, who's one of the coordinators. Good morning, Ms. Lewis. Welcome to the morning edition. And talk, uh, talk to us about the We Are One campaign. Well, good morning, Lloyd, and good morning, Bahamas. I'm Lloyd, the Via One campaign, we've been working on it for quite some time. And, you know, it, like you mentioned, it came about as a result of so many persons in the country feeling the brunt of this COVID-19 pandemic. A lot of people are hurting and we, you know, and there's a lot of dissension and discord among our Bahamian people. <clears throat> so what we try to do is we are 139 neighborhood associations throughout the entire country. We're coming together under the NNWC, that's the National Neighborhood Watch Council. And we, on Monday, we launch a, a, a month-long um, initiative starting on Monday, November 16th. The opening is going to be right here at the Edmund Moxie Center. We're taking into consideration all safety protocols. It's going to be social distancing. And we're going to be streaming live on on, on the, so, every social media. And what the one, We Are One campaign is about, we're going to, as of Monday, we're going into every neighborhood and we're going to bring some programs starting from a national um, cleanup campaign right down to celebrating 12 days of Christmas in December. And we want to bring some light, some hope, and promise to the Bahamian people throughout our entire um, neighborhood. But many of these initiatives will be launched on Monday. Um, like I said, with our National Neighborhood Cleanup Campaign, we're going to feed more, or more than 2,000 seniors throughout the country. And we're going to do some wonderful things just to bring about some healing and unity that is so much needed in this country today. Uh, Shelly, you must know Christmas is one of my favorite holidays, and so I'm definitely looking forward to those 12 days of Christmas. But uh, Superintendent uh, Wilton Johnson, you're the national coordinator. This is a mammoth task. Uh, talk to us about how you are teaming up uh, to really uh, bring this to life. Well, good morning, Mr. Lord, and good morning, Bahamas. As you are aware, the police is partnering with the communities. Because without the communities, the police will not be effective. The communities really is our eyes and ears. So what we're doing as the National Labor Watch Council, we are teaming up with this initiative that we are one. We are going in all the communities. Like Shelley would have said, you know, the past couple of months, we, as a country, we went through a lot. Uh, the hurricane, of course, the pandemic. And now a lot of people feel like a little downward. So we want to try to lift their spirit so to speak, and so that's why we're here not only to do that, but we will be partnering, we'll be neck to neck with the community in this initiative. The Belize Neighborhood Watch Unit is fully engaged, fully uh, participating in this National Neighborhood Watch uh, We Are One campaign. And not only like, like, like it's here in Nassau, it's in Grand Bahama, it's in Lutra, it's in Abaco, and it's also in Exuma. So we have all of these places that have National Neighborhood Watch. And like I said, Shelly said over 139 of them throughout the Bahamas. And so what they do, they really have a lot of initiative and they're going to be doing everything simultaneously throughout the Bahamas at the same time, the same date and everything. So that's why we're here to promote it and we want everybody to get on board. We want everybody to be a part of this great initiative because we will bring heal. We bring healing to our nation, which is desperately needed. Now, both of you said some powerful words, uh, but again, uh, I want to ask you personally, uh, for myself, you know, I've seen a lot of uh, hurting people over the last several months. You have, as, as an officer, you as a community uh, builder, uh, what are you uh, most hopeful for through this initiative? Well, Lloyd, what we're hoping is that people would really deflect from the, the, the doom and gloom of this COVID-19 pandemic because we've been locked down, we've been under curfew for many months from March. And, you know, we want to just shift the narrative, change the atmosphere in the country, let people realize that there is more to life, more to what's happening in this country than COVID-19. Even though we're going to take into consideration it is hell and we must follow those safety protocols. But we want to show that within our neighborhoods, we can reach out to each other. We can just do something good for our neighbor. Just anything. Somebody touch somebody. And we can get through this crisis together. Yes, Mr. Lloyd, like Shelley would have said, our goal, especially from the Belize side of it, is to partner and to go net to net in these communities. My officer, Inspector Kendrick Brown, he has 30 neighborhood watch under his remit. And so, uh, like the 11 of us, 11 liaison officers in Nassau, we have four in Elutra, 
we have about three in, in Abaco, and we have five in Grand Bahama. So what their job is to go in the community and they help start neighborhood watches and also to partner with them with their meetings and trying to encourage them to be our eyes and ears, not only during this time, but also to do some positive engagement with the youths, with the elderly, uh, with the cleaning up of the derelict vehicles, the abandoned houses. So our job is more than just locking up or just uh, doing the belief side of it, but it's also helping the community to feel a part of what they are. And I know with the community, every community want to be safe, Every community will want to be clean. Every community want to do something that is positive. And you are the majority person in this country who want to be on the side of doing right. Well said there. Well, of course, uh, the We Are One campaign officially launches on Monday. And uh, like myself, I hope you're looking forward to those 12 days of Christmas. Reporting here from the Edmund Moxie Park for the morning edition, Lloyd Allen and the National Neighborhood Watch Council and members, ZNS Network News.